basically when I was growing up, my mum was really into like Indian classical and stuff. And then I went abroad for a couple of uh, different reasons, like studies and like just holidays. And you know, you meet people, you get interested. I actually found out I want to do music abroad. So I mean, all these experiences kind of like get you into this. Uh, your worldview kind of keeps fluctuating, and you kind of just want music makes sense of that. I think. When I'm writing a song, it's it's mostly the voice of the character and not my voice. But there was a couple of years back, I was sitting in Pritam's studio and we were talking, and Pritam said that no, no, you only you can write this song. Two ye gana lik sakte aur koi nahi. So I started laughing. I said, "I said, koi mere mein koi lal nahi jade, main koi special nahi hu." And he said, "No, there is something something different about your writing. There is something special." And I said, "No, there is nothing special." After some time, I think Pritam only figured it out, and that's what he told me. He said that you have a you have a nice sense of ridicule. It's not very different. I feel like it's just about collaborating a little bit more. I feel you know, like taking people's inputs in the right way. So, as an independent artist with no one to answer to, I feel like there was a little bit of uh, like direction you need in terms of like you know who's listening to your music. They, the label kind of comes in where you 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 realize who your audience is. A good label, at least. I don't know. What, uh, I don't think that there are uh, there's any kind of restriction on the artistic. Uh, The endeavors that I bring to the table, I think that it's more about like finding the audience, right audience for me. I think Sony Music has done that really well. I think that's why the YouTube thing has kind of taken off. I am a lyricist because of Pritam. When I came to Bombay, I started working with Sanjay Gadbi and Pritam's first movie. That was my first film as a chief AD. Because I was the chief AD, I used to sit in the music sittings and and lot of times we used to hang out. That's how me and Pritam we became friends. Now what what happened is I used to do a lot of dummy work for Pritam just for fun and because we used to hang out together and all. And lot of sometimes it it so happened that the some of the dummies that I had written they they were retained. I don't particularly do song because it's popular. That I kind of like look at it in a way that, hey, this is a song. It has to be able to speak. It's my voice, but it's it's actually that song's voice, you know. So the lyrics have to matter a lot to me, like the poetry in the lyrics. Secondly, I kind of look for the most original way, or most actually, uh, the way in which I truly can represent the song. So I think those are the main main two things. If the song speaks to me, and if I can do justice to it. I think my biggest fan would be the producers that work with me. They not only say that they like my work, they come and they pay, they pay me for it. They put money behind my songs. They put money in promoting those songs. They make sure that the songs are shot nicely. And it takes a lot of courage to do that, you know, to take somebody else's work and take it uh, your own and uh, publicize it. I love Savan, man. Who doesn't like Savan? I love you guys. What's <laughs> so? It's always another place to kind of show your music, and I think that you guys are doing a great job in getting into the right people. So, good job. Ah, uh, Mayur was uh, was actually found for me by my label because we were looking for a lyricist from from my songs, and I had met like a bunch of. There is this, and I was not connecting with anybody. Then I got a call from my manager, Sri Anand, saying, "Dude, Mayur Puri has agreed to meet us," and we were all really excited. <laughs> <laughs> so we met on my uh, my in my house at on my terrace, and we kind of yeah. That like, was my idea. I said before yeah. we go to Sweden and start working on the the whole album, the not the album, the single. So the idea was that we will not work here in India. We all will just go there and start work there, and there only we will finish the song and come back. But I said, how can I go blindly? So I must meet the artist. I must meet Arjun. It's always about finding the right people. I don't think that you can just like chip cow lyrics onto a song. The lyrics are the most difficult part of a song, if you ask me. So I feel like the, the vibe was right, and it just kind of like just happened after that. We didn't even have to think. It was literally we wrote how many five songs, four songs. Four songs in five. Five days. days. Four songs in like five days. Very yeah. Fast, very fast. Very fast. Very fast. Sound is is ballistic. It's just it's a club song. It's uh, it's like a it's a new sound, and uh, I'm really kicked about how energetic and young and uh, generally how well it's turned out. I think that this song when we heard it, we were in Sweden and we wrote this song in three hours. I'm not even kidding. The track is composed by me, Ludwig uh, Lindell, and Gilva Dimberg, who are both Swedish producers. 
fantastic Swedish producers. And uh, Lu Ludwig, we call him Louis, Louis because that's his pet name. And Louis was like, bro, I have this insane like drop for this song. You have to freaking hear it. And uh, we kind of just like heard and we were, I mean, this is Shriyans' face. I, I, was, I just walked in and this is track playing. I was like, hey, sounds nice. And suddenly this bass hits and she was like, whoa! Like he actually said it out loudly, you know? So I mean, we were like, this is it. This is our first song. The song is called Baki Bate Pine Vaad, hashtag shots. Yeah. And when do you, what is the time when you do shots in a party? Party shuru hoti hai, kuch gaane hoti hai. Party khatam hoti hai, kuch gaane hoti hai. Beech pe mich kuch gaane hoti hai. Lekin ek point aata hai party mein, when, when the party is at its peak, when it is blasting. You know, that is when you are having shots. You've got some quantum of happiness and you're just trying to multiply it fast, isn't that? That's what shots is about. So, so the, even Listen. lyrically and uh, all that the approach was that, that we were having so much fun that we wanted to have more fun and fast. <laughs>